What is going on, everyone's, everyone's, everyone's? We here and we back with another episode of Is My Point Valid? Yes, indeed. I am Brandon D. And I am Camille A. Stocker. And the topic for today is going to be Have some respect. Got dog it. <laughs> Have some respect for folks. Man, there's a lot of people out here who talking crazy to people because they don't believe the same thing they believe. We got people talking crazy about their significant others. We got people talking crazy about the government, talking crazy about everything. But we want to tell you to have some doggone respect. <laughs> and that's the end of this episode now. <laughs> but have uh, some respect. That's it. It's simple. Uh, it, it, it's very simple. I, there are a lot of things that we're not going to agree with. There are a lot of people we don't agree with. Um, who cares? I was just telling my sister this yesterday because I was uh, I was just like, you know, I read a lot of books, right? Mm-hmm. And I like I always say, I'm going to read something to get a, a better understanding. I still probably won't agree or whatever, but I read a variety of books because they're there. That's what the point of books are for, to gain information or to gain knowledge mm-hmm. as well. And I was just like, some of the folks who kind of come at me in the the comments about what I read or like what I say, they don't understand that it's not coming from a point of, I want you to believe this. It's coming from a point of, um, I read this and this is my take on it. But instead of saying, okay, I see that perspective or, or, oh, okay, let me go read this book. There is a lot of disrespect. And a I'm like, whole lot of disrespect. And I'm like, oh, how I, what do I tell my children? Who raised y'all? Straight up. <laughs> and one thing that we have realized on our YouTube journey is there are a lot of people who are going to say a lot of different things. And that's okay, right? Like, because we all have a different opinion or a different ideology of what it is that we believe, what we think. We're all grow. We've all grew up differently. Absolutely. Different backgrounds, different cultures, and all those things. So that is a, that's, that's being, and that, I think that goes to freedom of speech, being, you know, of course we're in America. So being an American, you have that, you have that, that right. right to believe whatever you want to believe. There's a lot of countries where you can't do this. Yeah, you, everybody has to believe the same things, and if you speak out against those things, oh, you're in trouble, man. Yeah, but um, it is a blessing to be in a place where you can say the things that you believe and not be uh, just ran down for them. But we still get that. Yeah, and it's so like it's. I stay on this for a minute, but it's just so disrespectful. It's like you don't have to agree, but you don't have like, and you don't have, you don't to, have to say nothing. You don't either. have to say you can keep going. Yeah. Do you know how many things I bypass by looking? And I just I scoff like, you know. But it's not sometimes. A lot of the times, it is not our place to try and place our opinion on somebody. Like, like I remember growing up. Like, if we had an opinion about something. Then we talked about it in, in in the home. Like nobody else knew your status or anything, but your people knew, you yeah, know, like yeah, your people yeah. knew where you stood at. And it's, it's interesting how the social media has taken a, um, away with this and people are blatantly, and I think you'll blat- be blatantly disrespectful on the internet because nobody is face to face. Absolutely. You, you know? Yeah. And, uh, most of the time, cause I look at the comments, I read the comments, I look at the comments and there's a section in YouTube where if the comment, if YouTube deems it too disrespectful, they'll send it to its own little folder. Mm-hmm. And I tend to look at those two and boy, them is the worst. Them is worse than the ones that actually make it through. Like, who raised you? Like, Like, (laughs) man, every curse word you can think of, every derogatory term you can think of. And the crazy part about it is it's not, it's people that look just like me Mm -hmm. who have the most disrespectful things to say. Instead of having a conversation with me or asking a question, they they do a whole lot of assuming. Yes. They do a whole lot of bashing. Yes. They do a whole lot of name calling. Yes. And I'm like, God, dog, home, homeboy, home girl, lady, w- man, whatever, uh, whatever you are, and you feel like like you are disrespecting us, right? Like Absolutely. You are. You're you're doing it blatantly. But in the end, you're not showing. 
in my opinion. You're not showing respect to yourself because if you, I think the biggest thing is for me is we will disrespect people we don't know. Absolutely. And then be like, I, just, I, I will always say, you, you, you'll holler about God or you'll talk about Jesus or I believe in all this. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what? And, like, but you you expect the same respect in, uh, uh, yes. on the other end. And I've, I've come to a place where I, even when people are being blatantly disrespectful to me on the internet, now, if I see you in person, it's a different thing. But on the internet, I still give you grace because at the end of the day, you don't know me. Right. You don't know you the things that you're saying. You really don't have an argument in these things. You just are saying things that, that you're trying to hurt my feelings or yeah, whatever it like, is. Cause that, and it doesn't. It's like, how do you get what we're saying from a conversation in a 60 second? It's, it's 30, it's 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Most of them are less than 30 seconds. And you have not, for, like for me, if I watch a clip and I'm like, hold on. That Let me go find I'm the go, rest of it. I'm going to go find the rest and of it. That's why I'm going I, to Google. Yeah. I'm going to go find the book. <laughs> that's why I intentionally put the whole, the link to the whole episode in the comments. Click the and link. And pin it. <laughs> if you, and one person was like, I know there's more to this. Yes, there is. You think that I would just do a 30 second clip of just something that's out out of the air? I ain't trying to be reckless. And I think that's another thing. You see so so much stuff of people trying to be reckless and And trying to go viral and being disrespectful. Yeah. That's not my goal. There's a whole lot of context to the things that we say. Like, my goal is I'm reading this stuff. If you haven't read it, well, like here's how I'm put it. If I haven't read it and I'm reading it now, well, let me put it out to you so maybe you can get this information and then take it how you want to take it. And I will respect it a whole lot more if it was something that you read that's going against what I read. Yeah. Because... 10 times out of 10, it's just your opinion or something that you've heard before. There's no real legitimacy to any of the things that, that uh, any of the rebuttals that we get. It's all, uh, well, you this, you this, you that. And it, I mean, like, what did I say about, I said something last week about respecting President Joe Biden, right? Yeah. yeah. Because in the Breakfast Club interview with the woman, she, she was being disrespectful to Blatantly. Larry to Larry Elder. So my cutting him off and everything. My uh, this versus this was kind of like why we got to be ugly to anybody, right? If you have a legitimate argument, you wouldn't need to, you wouldn't feel the need to be ugly. Like why would you why would just are state we, your claim on whatever's being said? Like why do we feel the need to be disrespectful? And then it's like some of what I'm saying if. It goes over people's heads too, but it's like I'm saying what I'm saying and I'm meaning what I'm saying. Yeah. And it's just respect for elders, period, point blank, period. Because if somebody, if you have a grandmother, grandfather, your mm-hmm. mama, your daddy, yeah, you wouldn't want anybody to disrespect them and, be, and call them ugly names or, or what if they were sitting, uh, what if they were running for an office, right? Yeah. And you saw your your elder family member or your parent or whomever sitting on a platform. A national platform. A platform where millions of people millions. can see and this person is just going, 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 going. Well, sir, sir, you're not that's like... Not part that's, not, that's, not, that's not a part of the system. That's not a part of the That's not the control like, of the system. Like, girl, you think you're trying to make him look bad, but, but you're you making really yourself look, look yeah, bad. But yeah. my, my point to that is, imagine if that was somebody that you were related to, and you're seeing this. That would run you hot. So, but it should run you hot even if you're not related to that person, because where, what about respect? Where is the respect? I don't have to agree with you, but I'm going to let you get your point across because you are a guest. If I have guests, if we have guests on this show, we're going to let them say what they need to say. You got to say what you got to say. I might not be like, okay, it's interesting, but what what is the point? I'm not going to call you (laughs) out your name just because I'm not in agreement with you. And that goes into with with, with relationships. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot of men out here who are saying things and putting their wives and their girlfriends on front street. Some things need to stay in the house. I understand that you're trying to go viral. Whatever you're trying to do, you're trying to gain a following or whatever, but it doesn't look good when 
we're looking at you say all of these retarded things about your significant other. You in that retarded way. And then you have to think about this. YouTube is, if it's on the internet, it's on the internet. It can be accessible at any time. You don't want to get into a place where you're 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 more popular than what you thought you was going to be, and people can go back and look at the things that you're saying within your relationship, and it doesn't really line up with the things that you're believing now. So we kind of need to be careful about the things that we're saying about our baby mothers our uh, significant others, whether it's your girlfriend, your wife, or whatever it is, because I'm not going to come on here and blatantly talk sideways about my wife. Man, we're going to be fussing on the camera. <laughs> and then you if, if it does it. happen, that's what I was just about to say. If it does happen, you don't have to post those things. <laughs> we gonna like, huh? we gotta and start over. <laughs> when you do, that kind of makes you look desperate. For a following, desperate for people to agree with you, and that's not manly to me. That's not being a man. A man doesn't have to uh, argue with his wife. Uh, he doesn't have to talk down on her. And if she respects you, then she wouldn't do the same things in return. I have so, this question because I do see a lot of relationship um, mumbo jumbo. I'm not going to say mumbo jumbo, but they, they, their talking points are about their past and what they, what they have done in the past. Mm -hmm. Now <clears throat> we've all have a past. Everybody. We're, we're, we're 30 plus. Okay. So we've all <laughs> had a past, but one of the things that I realized, even at the age, I was 20 something when I got married, but at that time I knew that whatever I had been doing prior to my husband, that that had nothing to do with him, that what I was going into had nothing to do with him. Anything that happened that was like done, you know, it was, I, I washed my hands of it. And that's and what so, it's supposed to be. And so we never had like. Now, we discuss now, it, right, but it's not yeah, for the world to not, know. We've discussed it, but even still, I don't ever go into depth of anything, no details, no nothing. But on the, you know, this, this, you know, I like to say on the surface, yeah. you know what it, what it was, but to go into something just, and then, and I, and then I know you would never get me on camera and try to put you on front put, street right and try, try, and try say, to put you on blast hey tell that story you told me yeah 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 that one that, that one, one that one that was between you and i you're trying to make a fool out of yourself and your partner because both of y'all look like fools when you're on this camera i don't know if you're trying to make a, a fool but you're trying to prove this 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 you're trying to show this scenario or this 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 relationship of yeah, because i think once upon a time we kind of did say you know me we uh uh you know cool if my wife is this or whatever yeah. but that's not that's not how a relationship should work like what we do is what we is do. what we do now we're gonna share some things of course but you need to share, have some kind of discretion we're gonna share some things brandon might have made me mad last week and i'll talk about it a year later right and i remember last year yeah. you know something like that but i'm never i will never go into detail like you know all that but it's just it's a respect thing and then we have to look at what we're posting then we are building something and it's like you know a lot of people are watching and then it's a lot of people we don't know there's some people that we do know so i don't want to put nothing on this internet and my mom would be like camille Mm-hmm. Right. That goes into respect for your parents. <laughs> Camille, and this is exact the finger and everything. She's gonna hit me with <laughs> Camille. That little pistol. <laughs> She's gonna hit me with that because that mean that means I've You're reflecting bad on your family. Um right. Because it's just at the end of the day, I do not just represent Brandon. I represent my children, but I also represent my like parents, my parents. My upbringing. <laughs> like, like they could say, "What the heck? What are you talking about? Up. <laughs> what? What are you doing?" What are you doing? <laughs> so I always think about that, but we always tell the truth. I like, I'm, but you don't have to overshare. And I think in relationships, you share too much. You want to be liked. You want to be seen. And sometimes we don't need to be seen. You need to like, just shut up. Sometimes there's you don't be. We don't have st st stats to back it up. We just be talking at the sides of our necks and it's just like, hold yeah, on. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. We share too much. I think we share too much in, in anything.
in in everything, mm-hmm. right? So <laughs> relationships, um, we gonna share. But I, I don't and know at the lie. end of the day, it's about having respect for yourself. Yes, because I'm definitely not going to be on here. I don't, even if I was a certain type of way, why do people need to know that today when I am living a different life? Like, you can you can let people know where you come from, but you don't have to let every, let, let people know exactly what you was doing. Because if you kind of, if you kind of hint to the things that you were doing, then people already have an understanding. I don't need to be like, well, I used to rob people, and yeah, I robbed JoJo, and I robbed Billy, and I, for what? You gave all the information. Is there a stat, stat, statute of limitation? Yeah, yeah. seven years. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> oh my we goodness. don't need to know everything in your life. <clears throat> Nobody needs to know everything in your life. You do need to be relatable. You need to uh, give a little insight so people can see that you have uh, a stake in what you're saying. They, But at the end of the day, have some respect for yourself. Mm-hmm. That, I think have some respect for your respect spouse. To. Have some respect for your parents because these are the ones that you're reflecting on. I know some people don't kill. Some parents don't kill. But uh, for the most part, most people should take heed to these things. But we should care. We should care, and I, uh, dang, I should have, I had it on my mind when I was writing my notes, but I didn't write it, because I don't remember, remember, and now I don't remember, but we talk about, like, um, I think respect, and then people are like, well, I'm grown, I don't have to, mm-hmm. because you've already raised me, right, mm-hmm. and I'm grown, I can do what I want to do, I'm an adult, and when you're saying you're an adult, and you just continue to say you're an adult, then what, what you proving? Like, but anyhow. Um, you trying to convince somebody. Like, why are you trying to convince me that you're an adult? Just do what you got to do. Yeah. But um, we we use that. Well, I've never used it. I've never been like, I'm an adult to my mama. I'm wrong. I feel like that is the most disrespectful thing. Once again, she's going to hit me with the, she going to hit me with the Camille. But. Straight uh, up. <laughs> I, I've never been like, I'm, I'm an adult, so you can't tell me what to do. But because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I never know, and this should, just not parents, but in anything, you never know when you're going to need somebody's help. And so you disrespect somebody, and then you turn around, and you're going to need help. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm always like, you know what? I don't know. And you, and you don't know when you're ever going to need my help. Yeah. You don't know, like, all the, um, we talk about the comments and all this. You don't know if you'll ever meet me in person and need me. You don't know if you'll ever meet me in person, period. That's true. And you got to see saying, about what? the, and you, 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 you got to answer to the things that I, you've been you saying. You got to answer to nothing, but I'm saying you might need me. You might need help with something. Yeah. You know, something might go bad and, and our, our, our paths have to cross or something. You never know. Mm-hmm. And I can look back and you can, and you. Everybody oh, needs somebody. Everybody needs somebody. And so we, we, we live in this world. Of course we live in uh, the United States of America and everybody is just so disrespectful out in stores out on on the roads on freeways yeah. people pull weapons out and, and shoot at you on like, the freeway like what are we doing because you got cut off you're gonna shoot and you kill somebody sh- on the freeway because what 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 how, that make how sense? does that make sense mm. it, it, and i can understand because i've been so angry that i wanted to do something to somebody but after that the, after the anger Logic sets in. And if you act on that anger, by the time logic sets in, it's already too late. That's why you have to do the fruits of the spirit. And one of the fruits of the spirit is self-control. Absolutely. We control ourselves. That's one of the biggest things that I've always mm-hmm. taught our daughters is you control you. It's not Nobody's even, it, it, what does it you, say? Mm. It's 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react. It's, it's self-control. Attitude. Self-control. Mm-hmm. You can control yourself. You're making a choice not to. You're making a choice to say, "I want. I want to. I want. I'm do, grown. I, I want to do what I, I want to do. do. What I can do. So, um, yeah. I always, I always. I'm trying to figure it out because it's a lot of it. And how do you change it? What do we have to do? I, don't, I think people have lost. We say this all the time. People have lost their morals. 
So anything goes. It, it, I, don't, I don't have to respect you because I don't want to. It's your feelings. Feelings are more important than respect. How I feel and it is how I'm going to react. And if that, if that is however it comes across, that's how it comes across. A lot of people, they feel played on by the things that we're saying, and they feel convicted in the things that we're saying, so they just react off feelings. You, you talking to me. I ain't talking to nobody specifically, but you might think I am because it applies to you. But that doesn't mean that I'm directing it to you. We're speaking generally. So when you come at me with these uh, subjective comments. I ain't writing no four paragraphs on The Breakfast Club because I disagree. I'm not doing that. Nah. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that on nobody's stuff. No, I was using that man as an, as an example. Yeah, I'm yeah. not doing that. If I like what you said, I'm going to like your video. And I must keep going. And then the, if I don't, I'm not saying anything because that pushing. is your opinion. Absolutely. That is your right. I can't, I can disagree. And that is what you can do. Imagine but how then I'm going to come make a video and be like, I don't agree with what they said. Imagine how <laughs> crunchy you would feel if you take the time to write all of them words and it never gets seen by anybody. Because that's happening a lot of times. You write these big, long, disrespectful comments. And like I say, YouTube has a section of its own where those disrespectful comments go to. So you're saying all of these things. You're, and you, a lot of y'all are pretty passionate about the things that you're saying. Like, man, y'all went to college. Did y'all, like, y'all got PhDs. Did y'all write a dissertation? Y'all ready? Like, go, go back to school and get them papers done. Straight up. They can use it more than I can. Yes, indeed. I can't do nothing with it because I ain't about to. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> before you, you, you write all. It's not disrespectful. It's just, it's just why if you don't agree or if you have, if me and Brandon say something and you have a, a fact or you know that what we're saying is not true or you know or we miss we misread or something or mm-hmm. we misspoke then yeah tell us no i read this and it was like this okay cool thank you yeah. for letting me know yeah. because then i can go back and you know come and say y'all I made a mistake one of our watchers said this and this and this and this right but if you're not coming with <laughs> facts or stats and you're just coming you're with to prove attitude, us wrong that that doesn't do anything for anyone. We're here to inform people. We're here to enlighten people. Like we're human. We're not going to say everything correctly. Absolutely. Nobody's going to say any everything correctly. So are you attacking everybody that you come in contact with who does More than not likely. does not agree? Are you attacking people in person? More than what if the person at the at the grocery store rings up your stuff wrong? You attacking them? Yes. But they didn't do it because they're ringing up what was in the like they're just scanning it. Whatever is in the system is in it the system. Matter. It's not on them. I can't stand I can't stand when people disrespect grocery like workers and stuff. It's like ain't they they fault. They just job. doing their job. It's not their fault. Yeah. So, you know, it took me a minute to get to that point. <laughs> I used to be one of them ones who just go at your neck. But then I, I had to realize that them folks is just doing their they're job. They're just doing their job. They're they don't know about the price, the price change. They yeah. don't know. They ain't walking they, through the aisles no. like you are and looking at all of the prices. No. They just scan. It's a boop, boop, boop. That's all That's it is. All. <laughs> That's it. All it is. They just ringing it up. They're, they ain't making prices. They ain't relisting prices. They don't even know the prices until it goes up on that little screen where they click it through. But it took me a minute to get to that point. Like they're they're just doing their job. And if you're reading the stuff, they're not like you, Brandon just said. They're not going back there and looking. Okay, the grapes are uh, ninety nine cent a pound this week. I used to be like that with police too when they pulled me over. <laughs> I used to just pop off at them boys. But then I realized they're doing for one, their job. they're doing their job. For two, you keep popping off and you might get some results you ain't looking for. And then three, I'm at this three. Were were you in the right or were you in the wrong? More than more, most of the I, time I was in the wrong. Most of the, just honestly. I mean that and that's not my I know problem. people right. might call me here whatever you want to call here me. Here we go. I'm just here to come <laughs> to comments. Here we go. But more most of the time now there have been times where I feel like I was not in the wrong, but most of the time I was in the wrong when I got pulled over. Yeah. And then I would pop off at them and they'd be like, Sir, get out the car. 
You just shut up. Being disrespectful. Being disrespectful. <laughs> Being di- and they probably come, when they probably came to you, I'm not going to use anybody else in ex- as an example. I'm going to use my husband as an example. But as they came to you and, and whatever, they were probably respectful to you. For the most part. I mean, to, you know, whatever they say that For you the have most to do. Part, you know, yeah. I'm not saying. I've but. gotten off from people who didn't look like me. I've gotten off of things. So... I mean, it's all in, it, it, it's like I say, it's 90 to 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. We out here reacting wrong. Wrong. We need to get our lives together. Out here reacting wrong because we want to be right. And if you always want to be right, then something's not right because yeah. we can't always be right. Yeah. And Brandon talked about that. I used to be one of them people because I was going to be right, okay, until I had to r- r- learn. Sometimes you wrong. Girl, you be wrong. Straight up. And then you have to eat what they eat crow and be like, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that hard swallow. <laughs> Just, yeah. you know, take it and listen. That's why I've become, I mean, I've always been a listener, but that's why I listen to people. I really listen to people. I be really trying to. And not listen to reply because no. you can always tell when someone's listening to reply because they don't let you get your words all the way out. They'll cut you off. And then say what they need to say. I do that sometimes I too. Do it so, I mean, but I think I'm doing does it because that. I might forget what I got to say, so I'm gonna get it in while I can. Yeah. And you know, I'm not a big talker. And that's disrespectful too when you think about it. It is. I'm not a big talker, but so if you see if I do it, it's cause I'm trying to get it in before you keep going. Straight up. <laughs> I'm gonna address I'm gonna address it when it comes to me. I'm gonna try and get it in and then I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna be intent in my listening because yeah. I, I, I I gotta I do. get it in. I, though. I gotta I, I, cause it's not it's rare that, you know, I just really just Talk. I am a listener, so I listen, and I feel like that's a, a sign of respect. Um, but yeah, I listen a lot. Yeah, we but just. I, we but do. I always thought a lot of times I thought I was right. But then that, I had to slow down. Do. I had to slow down and be like, you know what? You you can't always be right. You might know because I know a lot of things. Yeah, but you don't know everything. But I don't know everything. Yeah. And so that's what's happening. Let, with, let's go ahead and make that 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 distinction. Yeah. Because uh. Just because you low know a lot of things don't mean you don't know mean everything. You know everything. Just because you old don't make you smart or wiser. That too. So we just gotta be respectful to one another. Absolutely. Kind. Absolutely. You know, we like to say kind. L- love. <laughs> and love is not love. And love is not love. <laughs> <laughs> we but just, even those people you need to be respectful we, to. We wrapped up. You want to say Ruth? Ruth, the book of Ruth, Ruth from the Bible. <laughs> I have a hard time saying it. And that is a freaking love story. That's a love story, but not in the, I was telling the girls, not the, I feel I love you. <laughs> but that man showed love because he, what, if, what he did and how he saved Ruth and Naomi. But that is a love story. Check it out. We just finished up Ruth. We're about to go into first Samuel. You know, I like to tell y'all about those things, but it is about respect. Absolutely. You might not like a person. You may not like what they're saying. But you respect them. And what do you give respect to receive respect? Absolutely. Well, it ain't the other way around. You can't demand something that you're not willing to give. Mm. Mm. So let's keep that in mind when we're out here talking to people. Keep that in mind when you're in my comments. Respect me, fool. I'm a grown man. <laughs> Straight up. And I got a fly mouth too, but I just choose give to grace. give you grace because you know not who you talking to. You know not what you saying and you know that you ain't going to never see me. So with all those things in mind, I just let you make it. I, I give you a whole bunch of laughy faces because sometimes it'd be funny. I'm not, I don't, I, I, I don't care. Um, I just want, I just, I really want our minds, all of our minds to go to, okay, I hear what you're saying. I don't agree. And then explain it. That's yeah. all I, like, Give that's all I'm st- asking. Give me facts, facts and statistics. Because if I, if you show me that, then like I said, I can go and be like, oh, I learned something. Mm-hmm. Not you cuss me out. I can't and I didn't learn anything. That. Yeah. So respect each other. Find a way to respect somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like always, it's love.
Peace and soon. <laughs> Bye. Like Soul Train, baby. <laughs> Chill.